Hey all my Breebies out there, it's your girl Brianka Janae coming back at you with another video. Only this time, as you can see, my atmosphere has changed just a little bit. I am currently out of town and my sister over there, I don't know if y'all can see her. <laughs> she gonna kill me. <laughs> Today's video, we're going to be reviewing two new items that I got to my makeup collection. Um, I saw these items on sale and they're usually a pretty higher end brand at Ulta So I decided to get them while they were on sale So the first thing that I got today is the Fiona Styles luminous finish foundation Concentrate it's in the number 10. This is the foundation And then we're also going to be trying on this concealer right here from them and this is the Fiona Styles Full Cover Perfect Finish Concealer in the number eight. Okay, so little disclaimer, um, this number 10 foundation, I don't know how it's gonna work out and I don't also know how this concealer is gonna work out. So with that being said, this is strictly a first time try on for me. So we're gonna see how this works. Um, and I paid $7.50 for this one, for the foundation. And I paid six dollars and twenty-five cents for this. Usually, this is twenty-eight dollars, and this is fourteen. So I got a really good deal on the both of them. So let's go ahead and get started. So usually, I start off by prepping my skin and cleaning my face really good. I use baby wipes actually to clean my face sometimes, especially when I'm traveling. It just it works out better than using the uh, makeup wipes. So. I'm just gonna take a baby wipe and wipe my face. This is the Huggies wipes. Okay. Now I'm going to put some moisturizer on my face. This is the Pons Crema Nourishing Moisturizer. It looks like this. You on your break? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a talk through because usually I speed things up. My face with the post makeup recovery spray from Scandinavia. Um, what this does is it clears pores and helps prevent breakouts. Because I don't know how this stuff gonna work on my skin. It might be getting washed right off. So I'm just gonna pump a little of the foundation onto this brush. This is looking like it's gonna be real red. I'm probably gonna have to fix this. All right, here we go, Lord, let's pray. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is definitely red. The good thing about having a foundation, if it's too red, it can be fixed, but one that is uh, too ashy, that be the one. That be the one that be the problem. Don't pay attention to my naps, y'all. I'm gonna get on the treadmill. Yeah, I'm looking real. Um, the thing about Fiona Styles, um, it doesn't have a wide range for colored people. It's either dark or light. It's one or the other. She does not have any in between. And looking at this, <laughs> I'm hella dark. <laughs> I'm like a pumpkin. Pump formula. Um, I'm sorry, it is a pump foundation. And so this is the foundation. She real red. She real oxidizing. Let me let me see if I can pull the camera a little closer. Yeah, she's real red. Like not even close to my color. So I would definitely have to if I'm going to continue to wear her today fix this now we're going to try on the concealer remember this is in the number 08 it's a full cover perfect finish concealer we finna see let's pray that this works better although if i'm highlighting she may do me some justice i look like some shit off of a ghost off a fucking circus okay <laughs> Hey, you know, shit works like that sometimes. 
Okay. I can definitely tell y'all now. This is too ugly. I just can't. But some of y'all will walk outside looking like this. <laughs> you gonna edit that? <laughs> Me on the other hand. No, that's staying in the video. Me on the other hand, I would not be caught dead going outside like this. Okay, let's try to do some blending. Let I I don't know. And I'm out of town too. They're gonna be like, where'd they get this girl from? <laughs> Walking around looking like what the hell happened. Um, yeah. I don't like the secret service. Got my wear paint on. Okay, we finna try to blend. I done got irritated. Um, <laughs> let's try to let. I don't even know what to recommend for this. Yes, I do. Let's spray some Fix Plus on this 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 hair sponge <laughs> and this concealer into this uh fountain. Um, I don't like, I don't even know what to say. All I can say is Jesus take the wheel. Okay. I'm going to be real. Even with it like this, it's not bad, but I wouldn't go out in public like this. Um, yeah. Other than that, look, I'll do a review on the actual foundation. So the foundation, I do like it. Let's see if it transfers. Okay, I do get a little bit of transfer, so you definitely need a primer with this. If you can see on my hand, look at that color that don't matter. Okay, so it's still really red for my skin, um, but this is the foundation. It is a foundation that will transfer. Look at my finger compared to this finger. So it does, because it's a luminous, it's not a matte. So you will need to set this with some type of powder. Um, let me see. The concealer, I like it. It's just, it's really light for my skin. And that was the darkest that they had. So, would I say that this foundation is woman of color friendly? No. <laughs> would I say that the concealer is woman of color friendly? No. Um, I would say that if you want to use a brow bone highlight, you could use this one. It is a really firm concealer, so it will not move. I've used Fiona Styles um, makeup before. I've used her uh, loose powders. They were twenty dollars, and they were that works really good. I used Sorrento when I used it, but I wanted to try the foundation. Um, so on a scale of one to ten, I would say this is about a seven. If she was woman of color friendly, she would be better. Um, yeah. I and I didn't have any other colors to choose from either it was too light or it was too dark so I had to go too dark uh this one I would give this about a eight because if it wasn't the wrong color it would be a good a good concealer so if you're um a person that is a little darker than me and you've got a lot of red undertone in your skin then this would be perfect for you and it's seven dollars and fifty cents you can't beat that you could even use it as a um as a concealer for highlight if you're not this color but you're a little bit darker you could definitely use this um this like i said you can use this as an eyeshadow base you could use this as an a brow bone highlight and to clean up your brows um or if you're lighter than i am and you want to use it for a concealer to uh highlight up under your eyes for your highlight contour you could do that too i'm just not going to do it because this is not the business for me but one more time, I'll probably try to insert some pictures because, as y'all can see, look at right here. I'm red. Like, it's heck of red on me. It's definitely not my color. And I'll also show it to you on my hand so you can see that it's really not my color. And a little of this does go a long way. A half a pump will cover a whole face. So, by it being luminous and it not being matte, um, it is kind of wet and dewy. So, yeah, see, look at that. It's going to be way too red. Although on my hand, it's not as bad as my face. Yeah, she's definitely um, not the right color for me. But it's okay. Um, we can get it popping. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. As always, here at Brevamp702, 
TV, we always want to stay beautiful, stay confident, and let no one tell you any different. If you are in the Las Vegas area and you're looking for a makeup artist who travels, then I'm your girl. Go ahead and my booking information will be down below in the video description box. And if you haven't just subscribed to my channel, guys, I work really hard on my channel. So go ahead and just hit that little um, red play button. It's free. You don't have to pay for anything. And until the next time, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.